Hey guys, this is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. And today I want to talk to you about having a four season greenhouse off the grid, but also in a northern winter climate. And to make things harder, with perennials. Um, after four years of maintaining this greenhouse here with perennial herbs, there's some things that I'd like to share with you from my experience. Um, the biggest of which is trying to keep these things alive through the winter. Now, if you have, most people have a greenhouse and they try to grow some, some greens, some small plants, you know, some leafy greens or have something to get them through the winter with, you know, some vitamins here and there. But when you add perennial herbs to the mix, now you've got a whole, whole different aspect. And the problem that we experience, our biggest problem of all is water. In winter, there, winter is brutal and harsh. And the problem is everything freezes solid. So our, our water hoses we cannot have outside in winter. And we don't have our outdoor water um, valve, our water pipes. We don't have any outdoor water supply in winter. And so watering your plants in winter is really, really complicated because if you don't, they're going to die. And that's what happened to us last winter. We lost a lot, a majority of our perennials that we had been keeping because we didn't get enough water out here. Everything was froze up solid. We just didn't get enough water. And I'll show you in a minute here what I'm looking at when I'm done watering. But uh, they're very sparse and very pitiful, the vegetation in here now, from just the lack of water in the winter. If you're going to have a, a perennial greenhouse with a roof on it, like we have, so natural rainwater and snow cannot get to your greenhouse, to your plants, then you've got to provide water and insulation to your plants. Now our first years, we realized that we needed to insulate. So we started adding straw, a thick, thick bed of straw onto our plants. And that helped. That was the insulation we needed. But snow, snow in winter insulates your plants against the freezing temperatures. And it also, though, provides occasional um, water for your plants because winter is not frozen all year round. It melts and it snows and it melts and it snows and it's a cycle. So you've got to mimic that cycle in nature or you're going to lose your plants. We found that out the hard way. So a thick bed of straw, really thick bed of straw helps to insulate and takes the place of that snowfall that you don't get when you add a roof to your greenhouse with your perennials. But the hardest again was the watering. So we lost a lot of plants last winter due to lack of water and uh, it, it was hard. It wasn't easy. But hopefully this year we've learned our lessons and uh, we're going to have to get larger gar watering cans and just continuously come out here and make sure that we do cover the beds. Also, we've given up a third of our greenhouse floor and confined it to the front more so we have less to care for. It was just, it was a lot of work and it was really hard for us to maintain that much. Now, we've got some beautiful um, warm weather plants. I love, oh, I, this plant is incredible. Just touch it. Even the water hitting it releases this lemony smell. It's lemon verbena. 
and some people say it differently. I, I love this. Now this will go in the house because it's a very sensitive plant. Um, certain things like the lemon verbena and some of our citrus trees will go in the house for the winter. They just can't survive the cold out here. Just outside the greenhouse we have some plants that are taking advantage of the reduced temperatures. They're not directly in the greenhouse but they will go back inside when the temperatures start to get a little too cold for them. We've got lemongrass, sweet potatoes, a some kind of a basil, lemongrass, a uh, what was that? I don't remember if that was lemon or orange. That was an orange tree and another lemon verbena which I love so much. So these out here will dwell inside the greenhouse during the later months to extend their growing season outdoors before we take them in to the house because they just won't make it through the really cold period. But it does help us save space in our house having the, the greenhouse here for at least a couple more months into the, uh, the year. But let me get the camera off the tripod and I'll show you what is surviving if we can manage to water them well enough. Now over here are some onions that she planted last year. Uh, they're not getting enough light so we're going to put some radiant foil in here and that'll reflect and get more light to them. We have oregano which came up from last year. It did survive but this used to be a live bed full of oregano and thyme plants, both of these, and they've all died out. The front section had a bad hit when we started putting windows up and that part was covered so the first year that took a bad hit that's when we learned that the snow not only insulates your plants but it also waters the plants so we lost this in our first year it started getting killed uh, when we had a partial roof this area survived because we didn't have the windows, we had a strip of, of area on the roof that wasn't closed in yet. And it was a good learning experience because this, this area survived where this area died that first season. When uh, up here we had an open strip here and we had a row of windows here. And I'm happy I didn't finish the roof that year because that's where it died when it didn't get the snow cover and the water. The water is key even in winter. And in this strip lived. And you can see along here, I have no life up in the front. That is a new plant this year. I do have some very sparse mint that is not quite recovering this year. And I put in the, the savory on my own. A great plant is sort of trying to struggle. And everything up here was dead. There's no life up there. I do have some chamomile that's not doing very well. It's been a harsh year this year, too. Um, lavender did come back, but that is under the wet area. That was the wet zone. And we got chives that are just loving this place here. The This was an entire mint row, and uh, that's new because that back section died out. Um, again, no water. And this section is hanging on barely, barely surviving. By this time of year, this should be up two and a half feet tall here. And this, this was always bushing out. So I have to add some fertilizer in here. And that's another thing. We've got to add, constantly add nutrients. There's no nature here. Everything we have to do ourselves and bring in ourselves. And so it's a lot more work to maintain your perennials inside. Now you can see my perennials outdoors in the open air, they're bushing out beautifully. They're massive. Nature is caring for them. But once you close that roof in, you have a lot more work on your hands. So I'm trying to rebuild and restore. This was from a sprig of, of peppermint I put in this summer, but um, it's weak. I've got to get nutrients out here. What did survive was the lavender. Now, these plants here are a zone five and one advantage of the greenhouse for us is we can grow we're in zone 4b so we get a little bit more harsh winters we can grow zone five plants 
And uh, it's nothing's doing well this year, I have to say, except for my one herb bed. Things are only just starting to grow anywhere in our property. And it's just now turning September, so the growing season was sort of short. But we can grow zone five plants in the greenhouse, perennials, but you gotta put a thick, thick, thick layer of straw and keep them watered. Not as much as you would water in summer. We water here every day on a hot on hot days and every two to three days on cloudier, cooler days. Everywhere, the whole greenhouse, in order to keep them alive. In summer, once every couple of weeks, or in winter, once every couple of weeks, I would say, for your perennials. Now, we do have a pipe going through here from our furnace that helps keep this place a little bit warmer and that does help us gain our zone five growing season here. That's not a lot of heat coming off that. It is a uh, flowing air, but it does help maintain our zone five growing season, which allows us to grow some herbs that we normally would not be able to. And then our shelves, which are now cluttered, give us a springtime boost on seedlings. As you can see though, we don't really use this for um, all season because it's just too much work watering it. Those shelves get full blasting radiation from the sun and we've learned that it's near impossible to maintain things in 90 degree temperature outdoors in brutal bright sunlight. They just dry right out in a couple hours. They're just scorched. Um, here being an example of some plants we were trying to grow and uh, it just got too hot. It just, it literally cooked them. Even with airflow in here, in uh, summer it'll get way too hot and they just uh, these little seedlings and starter trays there's just no hope but we do keep these out here the uh, more sensitive plants because we're getting into 40 degree nights and we'll keep this out here until just before the first freeze and then this will go inside and it'll keep on going so that's uh, pretty much an overview of a four years of experience in a perennial greenhouse it's a lot more work to keep perennials alive than it would be to just have your seedlings um, throughout the winter or your, your small vegetables the more area you have to try to water and the more area you have to try to maintain the more work it's going to be and the harder it's going to be to keep them going but they do if we care for them better this winter and we take what we've learned now from our four years of experience in this perennial greenhouse. Next year, they're going to have a head start on their growing season. Because for one thing, the sun angles in here better in that time of year. And they're going to have the zone five. So they're going to have a, a month or two more of warmer weather to start growing. So I'm going to try to nurse these back to life now in the time we have left for this fall. And next year we should have a really beautiful herb garden back here again that can provide us some limited um, herbs all year round. I hope that helps somebody. Um, certainly we've learned a lot here. And gardening is a learning experience. Absolutely. Well, guys, please do like this video and leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts and your experience with your own greenhouses. If you grow perennials or not, whatever you do, love to hear from you. I never claim to be an expert, and anybody that does, well, good for them. Not me. Talk to you all later.